Hello everybody, I'm back to show you how to draw an 8 point uh, star on the disc as opposed to a 12 point. Uh, this is what we did last time and we're basically going to go through the same procedure, just a couple little different things and it's just as easy as the last time. Uh oh, where's my straight edge? There it is. Okay, so and hopefully I'm going to draw this all in Sharpie because last time it seemed pretty light and so draw a straight line like we did before approximate the center the compass part is probably going to be hard for you to see oops <laughs> there's, there's a magnet attaching to everything okay so there again we're going to start from that center point and then create two points on the line which are equal distant it's again going to be rough I'm going to try to make the lines dark here okay then from that intersection on that line we want to go you got to go at least halfway so you can make a mark somewhere but the further you go out the longer it is and the more accurate you can be so here we are we're gonna make a small arc there and there then we're gonna go from the opposite point or the intersection of the lines and do the same thing cross those arcs see this is rough because I'm pushing pretty hard to give you a dark line so you can see it oops see I just screwed up there so from there you're going to connect those intersections with the center and, they, and the center should always line up Oop, I'm gonna use my sharpie okay. so there what we've done is created a perpendicular line 90 degrees every one of these sections is 90 so then we want to create uh, eight points so basically what we got to do is divide uh, this in half so first thing we need to do is draw a circle because these two lines here are not the same as these two so you draw a circle so you get all equal points on all all, uh, all four points of the line there's one, there's two Three and four. Okay, now basically what we're going to do is the same thing that we did creating the 90 degree line because basically what we did is bisected that line and when you bisect a line with a compass you end up with a 90 degree uh, to that line. So, the we just created uh, these four points with our compass. Let me show you which ones those are so you're not confused. That would be this point, this point, this point, and that point. That's the circle we just drew. Okay. Now what we want to do is bisect the intersecting lines on the 90 degree angles here. So that would pretty much be these points and I guess I'll draw those out okay and we got to do it all four ways so we'll do it all four ways so you guys understand
So, really what we're going to do is divide each one of these lines in half by bisecting it with the compass. So, all you got to do is place your compass on the point, go over halfway, and create an arc. I'm going to go a little less so you can see. Got to go past halfway. That's the that's the only thing. You do that there, there. We're going to do that on all four of these points, and where those arcs intersect, bisects the line. Gives us a 45 degree angle. and creates eight points instead of four. Yep. Like I say, this is very rough because I'm rushing it and pressing hard on the compass just so you guys can see the lines. Okay, then Connect all those points, of course, again, everything should intersect with the center. Let's say what, let me draw a circle, so this kind of makes sense, a circle around here. It's a little complicated, my circles get rough, pressing hard. So anyway, uh, what, you're, what you end up with is, this is uh, pole 1, this is pole 2, this is pole 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And they're all equally spaced, you got uh, 45 degrees between everybody here and you got an eight pole deal so there you go have a good one